So in this final lesson of Keeling Algebra 1, we are going to talk about dividing polynomials. And dividing polynomials is just like plain old long division. So if you never learned the long division algorithm from elementary school, well, that's going to be a problem. You're going to probably be lost during this lesson. So let's just do a quick recap of how we do long division. So if I want to do this division, remember what you do is you look at this number here and you think, well, how many times does this number go into 12? Oh, but 12 is smaller, and any time the number is smaller, you have to add a digit. So I need to think, okay, so how many times does 13 go into 120? And that's going to be 9. And so then I take 9, and I multiply it by 13, and I get 117. And then you subtract and I get left with, in this case, 3. And then I have a 4 left over, so I bring down the 4. And so then I think, well, how many times does 13 go into 34? And that's twice. And I do the subtraction, I get a remainder of 8. Now, in elementary school, you wrote remainder 8. And then when they taught you about decimals, you would put a point and then zeros, and you start bringing down zeros to get the decimal approximation. Or you can write this as a fraction and have 8 thirteenths left over, and that's the way we're going to do polynomial division, is we're going to take the remainder and write it as a fraction with a divisor. And so now let's actually do some division with polynomials. I have x squared plus 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 2, and I'm going to do the same thing. In this case, I don't have to look at place values, I have to look at terms. So I'm going to look at one term at a time. I'm going to look at the x squared and think, okay, what do I have to multiply x plus 2 by to get an x squared as the first term? And well, if I just look at this x and the x plus 2, I have to multiply it by x. And then I take x and multiply it by x plus 2, so I get x squared plus 2x. And like I did before, I have to subtract. Now the one thing people mess up with is that I'm subtracting this entire polynomial, not just that first term. So I put it in parentheses to know that I'm subtracting that whole thing off. So x squared minus x squared is 0. 2x minus 2x is 0. And so I'm left with nothing, yay, but I have this plus 3, which has to be brought down. Now this x is linear and that 3 is constant. And so whenever you have something that's a degree less, or several degrees less, that means this is your remainder. So my remainder is 3, and the way I'm going to write that remainder is as a fraction with a divisor as a denominator. So this division yields x plus 3 over x plus 2. Now, of course, I can show my division like this, so it looks like a fraction, but don't be intimidated. It's the exact same thing. I have x minus 2 on the outside. Underneath, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And I take it one term at a time. So I ignore the minus 2, and I ignore everything afterwards. And I think, OK, what do I have to multiply x by to get x cubed? And that's going to be x squared. And so then I multiply x minus 2 times x squared. And I get x cubed minus 2x squared. Now remember, I'm subtracting off this expression. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 2x squared minus negative 2x squared is the same thing as 4 x squared. All right, and then I need to bring down the minus 3x, and then I ignore everything except 4x squared and x, and I think, okay, what do I have to multiply x by to get 4x squared? And that's a plus 4x. And so 4x times x is 4x squared, and then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8x. And I'm subtracting that whole thing off, and so then what I'm left with is negative 3x minus negative 8x, which is positive 5x, and then a plus 4. And then once again, x and 5x needs a plus 5. And I get 5x minus 10, subtract off the whole thing, and I get 4 minus negative 10, which is 14. Now since 14 doesn't have an x on it, and x, is a, x minus 2 has a higher degree than 14. That means that's my remainder. And so then I'm left with a 14 over x minus 2. Now this next one is special because I have to do something extra to it. 
in order to do the division. So I have x minus 1 outside as my divisor. And notice I drew a really long bar here because I have to add the powers that are missing. So it's like they're missing place values. I have an x cubed place value, but I don't have the x squared or the x place value, so I have to add it in here in order to do my long division. So I have x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. And this is the long division I'm going to do. Once again, starting off with the x's, I need to have uh, x squared there. And so I have x squared, oh, sorry, x cubed minus x squared. I need to subtract that all off. And so those are gone. And then I am left with a positive x squared. And I bring down my 0x. And this is x, and that's an x squared. So I have to add an x on. And I get x squared minus x, subtract off the whole thing, and I'm left with x, bring down the minus 1, and oh hey, check it out, x minus 1, x minus 1, that equals 1, or minus 1, and I get left with 0 as my remainder, which means, of course, that x minus 1 is a factor. Now finally, your last check for understanding in Algebra 1, I want you to divide 4x cubed plus 2x minus 5 by x plus 1.